talk to you. Just how do you feel like you've progressed uh, for the last couple weeks? Uh, I feel like it's a upward trend. I'm just trying to keep getting better every day, 20% better every day. So that's really what it's been. Just obviously nobody wants to see like Mario keep hurt, but like you had an opportunity to be in the starting lineup. And, like, what are you kind of, how are you viewing this this opportunity to get more playing time, get playing time for one and all that? Uh, it feels good. It gives me a chance to get comfortable in this league. Like last year, you know, I just it was really just practice and some preseason games. So. Being able to go out there with the guys and the ones and uh, get more experience with any group, really, uh, it's a blessing. So it's uh, just trying to take advantage of the opportunities I get. What was, for you, what was the biggest adjustment you needed to make from last year to this year? Like I've been saying my mental, just uh, letting loose. Uh, like I said, I just trust in God, just give all my worries to God. Uh, I feel like physically, like, I don't feel like there are many big physical changes I made from last year to this year. Like I put on a few pounds, got stronger, got faster. I still worked this off season, but I think the main focus for me this off season was letting go mentally, just being able to just go out there and play football instead of being stuck in my own head. So like just giving your athleticism a chance to play. Yeah, like if you see last year, like last year was like I put so much pressure on myself. I'm like, yeah, I gotta make this play. I gotta uh, do this. I gotta make the team. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. So then all that pressure just it crushed me. So then this year I was like, all right, let me just all that worry, let me just give it to God. Just give it to uh, let me give it to God and then that's what I'm doing. I feel lighter. Like I'm literally I feel lighter on my feet. The game's moving slower. Uh I feel like I know I'm I know my playbook better as well. So I'm just out there literally just playing ball instead of thinking. So uh, we've seen that you continue to make a lot of high impact plays. Do you feel like at the same time you cut down uh when you were doing Katie? mistakes or things you wish you had done better on a daily basis, is that, is that improved? Yeah, that's improved as well. I feel like uh, there's always room to improve, so uh, I feel like the mental errors and mistakes, I feel like definitely uh, try to keep those low. They're definitely low, just try to keep, keep them low and just do my job. Like, if I do my job, the plays going to come to me. That's what Hodges told me Like in, uh, during camp. All the plays I make in camp is from doing my job. So games, I try to make it no different. Just go out there and play ball. Just do my job. Uh, the third preseason game is like obviously big for guys trying to make for the rust. But I'm wondering after going through it, maybe the first time last year, is there anything you do differently or, or take it differently now that you have the first one under your belt? Uh, I feel like I'm just relaxing more. Like if you saw last year, like I just got worse. Like, people are supposed to get better throughout camp. You look at me last year, I just got worse. Like, OTAs, I was flying around doing my thing, training camp at the beginning. Oh, yeah, he's cool. And then it was just downhill. I just kept getting worse because, like, I just kept putting more pressure on myself. So it was just like, and it showed. Like, even my PFF score, whatever that is, someone told me it just kept getting lower and lower and lower. And you watch the film, it's like, man, this guy doesn't get, doesn't know, has no clue what he's doing. So right now I'm just trying to uh, be relaxed out there and just play ball. That's my main focus, not to put too much pressure on it being the last preseason game or anything like that. Just it's not an opportunity to play ball. So I'm going to go out there and do that. Did you feel that at the time? Or is that something like now that you look back, like, oh, wow. Uh, I definitely felt it at the time. I didn't want to believe it, but I definitely felt it at the time. But then looking back on it, that's definitely what it was. I was out there stressing for no reason. Like, I, I'm putting too much pressure on me trying to go play, and I'm not playing. So, uh, I just gotta. That's why I noticed, and I just been the main focus uh, this off season and throughout right now. You mentioned keeping mistakes down, but is there, is there a point where it's like you have to play without being like mistakes happen? Yeah. But if you're worried about making mistakes, you play slow, and then you're not you know, yeah. you're thinking too much about the mistakes you don't want to make. Yeah. That, that, make mm -hmm. That's another thing that last year, like I'd make a mistake. And I let that linger for the rest of practice or the rest of the game. So I feel like this year I make a mistake, like, okay, that's cool. Like, we're going to fix it later. I'm just on the next play. Like, even in the game, uh, like, at first it was like a missed tackle on the sideline. He stepped out. No, I could have let that. Last year I feel like I would have let that draw out the entire game. And you would have saw my play just go down. But this year I was just like, all right, that's cool. Next time I'm going to get him next time. And I just uh, kept going. So that's a big change from last year to this year is just uh, letting go of bad plays, let go of good plays too, just next play mentality. How did, how did you actually like, I feel like you hear a lot of people say they want to be like that, but how did you actually get to that point, you know? Like did you have to, I don't know. Uh, 
uh, do some studies. Or yeah, whatever. I had a, a mental performance coach, uh, Jana Genova. I think I said her name right. Uh, so we worked throughout this off season. Uh, we had uh, a lot of meetings, just working on like my limiting beliefs, like trying to mitigate those and impo- and uh, focusing on my empowering beliefs and trying to. Uh, keep those in the forefront and getting a plan together for this training camp and this uh, throughout the off season to make sure my mental's right. So she's helped me tremendously. So just keeping my mind right and uh, being able to go, I say, I call it playing out my mind because I'm not thinking. So just going out there, be able to play out my mind and just go play ball. And it's like, you have to be really intentional with that. I imagine and just not let the bad habits kind of creep back in. Yeah, like uh, we still talk every now and then, but uh, uh, I feel like that has helped me tremendously. Uh, just being able to mental, like, because it's a mental game, really. I feel like in the NFL, everyone's physically gifted. Everyone can do it physically, but the mental is where you can uh, separate. So I, I, that's why it was a big emphasis this off season. So. At the same time, like you've probably been hearing next play, next play all your life. Is that just something you kind of have to go through to, to realize, like, actually, so it's not just Okay, yeah, I mean, that's the name of the game, really, next play. Because that one play, like, that one play can make or break a game, but, like, if, like only if you let it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a bad play and you let it linger throughout the rest of the game, then you're done for. But, like, if you have a good play and just keep focused on that, then you're still done for. So you just got to be able to just play the game, you know what I'm saying? Not be stuck on the pass or just play the game. PFS scores at all this year? Nah, don't tell me, don't tell me. I don't want to. Can you give an example of uh, an empowering belief that you're trying to reinforce versus the other kind of belief that you're trying to? Yeah, so one of my uh, empowering beliefs is uh, God gave me this passion for football for a reason. So that's been my biggest focus this offseason is my relationship with God. I'm just trying to uh, stay close with Him. I feel like in the past I put football before God, and I feel like that's not how I should live life. It's not how we should live life. So just putting uh, Christ before ball and just knowing that he gave me this passion for a reason. So to trust that uh, he didn't give me this passion just to go work a nine to five, go work to a regular job. So he, I'm meant to play a sport. So just knowing that and uh, having that confidence to just go out there and play. And one of my living beliefs, who is a good amount, but uh, not, it's like three, we pick three, but they're pretty intense. I want to keep those to myself, but like, they're like just personal things like throughout life that I noticed that we went through, noticed that like have crept up. Like even if I didn't notice, like notice like stacked up and took a toll on me. So just knowing, uh, knowing to limit those and just being able to uh, focus on the empowering, empowering beliefs. Do, do a lot of your peers do that same exercise, mental exercise? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you, how did you find out about it? Uh, I met Jonna. It, Jonna uh, uh, taught me it, but uh, I met Jonna at the in Tampa with uh, at House of Athlete, Yo Murphy, where I trained. Uh, so she was there, and then that's where we connected first, and then uh, reconnected with her this off season. And then that's when we got to go to the through this rip season, is what we call it. Call it. From a player's perspective, did you notice any difference back home when you were practicing to California? Uh, a little bit, a little bit, but uh, I try not to focus on that. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay hydrated. Like, you're going to feel a difference. It's, gonna, it's humid here. Like, it's just what it is. But being back home, I feel like just having the fans out yesterday and, you know, just being back in New Orleans, being back at home, it just feels it's great. Like, I feel like we have a new, like, juice of energy just being back home like everyone is so excited to come back and now that we're finally back you, you like kind of sense it with the guys it's like new love of energy uh being back home